But who? Luna. Am I not burning up? It is like hot as hell. Wow. Okay. Let's start. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rafila Matsela. I'm a radio broadcaster, a twin mom, a natural hair enthusiast and DIYer when it comes to styling my own uh, natural hair. Thank you so much for clicking on the link and welcome to the channel. Now I must do uh, the uh, the norm, the societal norm here on YouTube of if you're new here, please don't forget to comment, like and most importantly subscribe. Join the little community that I have going on here. I am super duper proud of each and every individual who watches the video till the very end. And I'm super duper proud of uh, even myself uh, being able to put out some content every week or so for your viewing pleasure whether you are mommy a daddy um, you know wh whoever you are and for some reason if you enjoy this content and enjoy being here I thank you very very much so it's a very hot day. I just finished getting ready. So excuse if you see any little sweat particles uh, on my nose, on my face. I just did my makeup. It's like the windows are even open. It's such a hot day on this autumn. Are we in winter yet? Is June winter? Autumn? Anyway. It's a very hot day today and I've been running around trying to get everything ready. I did a load of laundry. I, you know, defrosted some meat so I can cook dinner later on. Um, I, I got myself ready, trying to tidy up in the space, which to be very honest with you right now, looks like a laundry bomb went off, a baby bomb went off. There are things everywhere. But without further ado, let's get into the real reason why we are here. As you see, uh, you're probably, if you are pregnant, um, wondering what were some of the early signs that I saw that I was pregnant with not one, but two precious little babies. Yeah, the twins. So if you've watched my first story time on this channel like ever, one of my more popular videos on this channel, I will link it right above, you will know that I found out I was pregnant with twins very early. Uh, four weeks in and I already knew that we were expecting double trouble as people put it. So I went on to good old Google just to try and find out some more information about what it is that increases the chance of co uh, consuming wow conceiving multiples so that is two twins um triplets uh quads what do they call them quadruplets uh sextuplets octuplets and then what's 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 10 again oh my goodness i draw a blank but <laughs> how do you know that you are carrying or could be pregnant with more than one baby and what increases those chances interestingly enough while i was reading online age has a huge factor to play in it uh, and for all my good doctors my gynecologists my people who work in genetics please educate us down below in the comments if i am you know misleading anyone i'm not by any stretch of the imagination a healthcare professional i just think i really really enjoy biology and understanding how the human body works so age has a huge uh, role to play apparently women over the age of 30 or the closer you get to 30 your body starts to then release more eggs at a time thus increasing your chance of uh, conceiving multiples the second is genetics you should uh, you know if you know you should have an idea of if there are any twins any triplets any multiples um, in your family and that is then carried down your bloodline and that can give you an indication of uh, you know are you likely to conceive multiples and the third reason that i'd like to mention in this video is fertility so any couples any woman undergoing a fertility treatment it is quite possible that uh, you know once you reach the uh, implantation stages or whatever it's called uh, that you could conceive multiples because imagine you are jacking up your body with all of these hormones right in order to produce um 
top 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 quality eggs uh and yeah so those are the three reasons i think i straddle the genetics as well as the age that's what increased my chance of falling pregnant there is a a, a history of twins in my family as well as age wise i don't know i don't know i think so i think i felt pregnant when i was 26 yeah maybe that had a factor to do with it but i think you know i'm leaning more towards genetics having uh, the major role to play in my twin pregnancy all right so sign number one that you could be in the early stages of a twin pregnancy includes a very common uh, phenomena that happens um, a very common thing that happens to pregnant women we've seen it on tv once someone starts complaining about a woozy stomach some nausea feeling like they want to vomit yeah that's what we call morning sickness and mine was pretty pretty severe uh, in the first trimester after the first trimester it virtually went away and i was good to go you just feel things very very intensely that's what happens and my morning sickness lasted for my entire first trimester i did not I could not eat you know you, when you're feeling queasy and you want to vomit you can't eat you don't really feel less for something but what i found to be my remedy was actually eating believe it or not but here's the catch you can't eat anything rich and flavorful that's not what i was you know craving that's not what i could hold down in my stomach i did not i never actually vomited but i just always had that you know queasy feeling so what would ease it and help it subside was eating very early in the morning as soon as i woke up no matter how sick i felt um, i had to make some dry brown toast just like that no butter no nothing to aggravate my stomach i had to eat nuts i ate cereal without the water and by cereal i'm talking about all brand flakes that hardly have you know any sugar in them nothing greasy nothing sugary uh yeah nothing flavorful nothing with a strong smell just as plain as possible that is what helped me get through my first trimester you can also opt for some over-the-counter medicines but it wasn't so bad that i felt you know i needed some some hard stuff uh, but always speak to your gynecologist uh, speak to your gp and find out what is safe for you to take uh, during the early stages of your pregnancy home remedies also work well uh, a lot of people said drink stony it'll help but that had sugar and gas and yeah it, it wasn't going to go down well so what i would do is put on a kettle switch on the kettle uh, pour myself a cup of hot water use ginger powder or fresh ginger grate it into a cup let that seep in steam in you could add uh, a rooibos tea bag if you want uh, but just that plain water also did wonders for those first few weeks of morning sickness the second sign is a very high level of a hormone called and i'm gonna look down at my notes because this is difficult high uh it's called human cro chorionic <laughs> what did i write here is that a g is that a g human chorionic go nadro <laughs> human chorionic eventually gonadotrophy what hold on human mm -hmm. Hey Siri, how do I pronounce H G? No. Hey Siri, what is the full term of H C G? I found this on the web. Nah, baby girl, tell me. Oh my gosh. Siri, tell me about human chorionic gonadotrophy. Here's what I found. See, Okay, but <laughs> in short, we'll call it, or rather, it is called uh, HCG levels, 
right there we go and that is essentially the pregnancy hormone that shows up in your blood it shows up in your urine and that is why a urine test is uh, one one of the ways that it, it, you can test and see if you are pregnant those at home ones that we buy at the pharmacies yeah it picks up that as well as another hormone oh my goodness I forgot I want to say estrogen <laughs> I want to say estrogen I, I stand to be corrected on that one so those are the two hormones that uh, at home pregnancy tests are are made to pick up I believe and according to my research um, and what how I knew that I had high levels I've mentioned this this in my previous uh, story time was that when I took my first pregnancy test before I even Put it down while putting the cap back on to put it down on the bathtub beside me I could already tell that there were two very clear lines and I took two pregnancy tests at two different times on two different days uh, the following day I think in the morning that's when I took one and same thing happened I think I had a huge amount of HCG levels in in my blood work and it said that the high levels of the hormone do not always equate to a multiple pregnancy but more often than not in a pregnancy that has multiples they see high levels of that hormone especially in the first trimester it was a wonderful freaky scary experience the third thing that will indicate possibly that you are pregnant with multiples is severe fatigue fatigue like you've never experienced in your life fatigue like COVID fatigue, right? I think when people talk about that and they, um, when they talk about the virus and, and how they feel, you know, the severe cases of it, I would like to equate and imagine that's what it, you know, it, it felt like that's, I had never been so tired, like being tired in my early pregnancy. That, that was just the most unimaginable thing. And it was one of the first signs that I picked up before actually taking my pregnancy test. So I was just tired. My schedule is already back to back to back. Um, Monday through to uh, a Friday, I was working very, very hard, still am, <laughs> working very, very hard. And I was just overcome by this high level of just being tired, not even wanting to eat by the time I got home in the evening, not even wanting to take a shower or a bath and unwind. I just wanted to sleep. And during the day, having to drive around, you know, going from studio to studio, um, having to attend to various things that I need to attend to, I was just very tired and wishing, praying that I could take a nap. So you will feel very tired. Next on the list are mood swings. Remember now your body Oh, also, let's just back it up. You will feel tired because your body is taking up all this energy in order to create these new lives. As teeny tiny as they are on a cell level, you know, uh, eventually these beings are, have been programmed with the DNA and the full functionality and possibility of being a human. So everything that makes you up, imagine trying to build that unknowingly uh, in your body from like even smaller than this this is massive but you know can you just imagine what your body is going through and you may be eating well you may be exercising I was I was at my lowest weight I think I was about 74 kilograms or so I was losing weight I was a fit 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 mom fit bunny I was I was here I was here and uh, yeah I fell pregnant <laughs> Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Another thing that I picked up uh, just before, um, you know, peeing on the stick and figuring out that I was pregnant, but it gave me a clue that I was definitely pregnant. Uh, my moods, in hindsight, looking back, I was quite volatile. I was irritable. I was tired and I was moody. Um, things were, were annoying me. People were annoying me, you know, just, just general feelings of annoyance. You may be very hypersensitive to certain things. You may cry a little bit more uh, when you see an ad, when you see a sad movie, and within seconds of that sort of reaction, you 
begin to wonder like okay that was you know kind of weird but let me just keep composure keep it to myself so moods are definitely something to look out for if you don't pick it up the people around you will pick it up number five on my list is food aversions so early early on in my pregnancy i found out that uh you know certain foods just don't sit well with with pregnant women and it's something that you've possibly heard before some of the common answers that i've seen online and heard about uh, include uh, different meats spicy food coffee things of that nature strong pungent or strong smelling tasting flavors and smells i'll tell you what my food aversion was it was the weirdest thing chicken being cooked whether you were boiling it whether you were frying it whether you were baking it in the oven smelt disgusting on top of not being able to eat at a certain point of the day you know due to the morning sickness and it's not morning sickness can i tell you that thing can last you the whole day watch yourself anyway um <laughs> any strong smells odors chicken being cooked uh, there was a kfc not far from where we used to stay and it would just set me off it smelled nasty it was disgusting coming into the office and someone had chicken you know they made sunday chicken and now it's monday and they're warming up their leftovers there in the common uh, microwave uh, yeah that would put me right off the smell of coffee was fine i was actually yeah not too bothered by it garlic was the other thing that i could not stand the smell of garlic smelled disgusting even when the fridge was closed and it was a new tub of garlic still sealed i would be able to pick up that smell and i would want to chuck everything like throw everything away i remember actually throwing away a like a new um tub of minced garlic because i i couldn't stand it took handy andy took scrap lapa or a cleaning cloth and I just went in on that fridge because that smell of garlic was just really messing with me. Not fun. And lastly, I would like to throw this one in there as my tip. Not food aversion, but a hankering, but not really a craving because I, I was unaware. I just was consuming way more protein. And <laughs> there's a certain former colleague and friend of mine who can attest to this. And I need to share this video with her. There was a time before I took my pregnancy test and even after I found out I was pregnant, I was eating about like two to four eggs per day. I wanted two boiled eggs in the morning. I wanted two boiled eggs um, as a snack, you know, at work and specifically boiled. I, I wasn't really into frying them or scrambling them. I just wanted a boiled egg. I just simply wanted a boiled egg with a little bit of, you know, black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper and salt, and that would make my day. Then I would feel that mood sort of going down and, you know, relaxing a little bit. So yeah, just watch out for certain foods that you may be eating more of and watch out for the foods that you may be eating less of or you definitely don't want to taste smell hear them nothing so basically remember that the best way to find out if you are carrying multiples is an ultrasound go and see your gynecologist go have the blood work done go have uh, you know the actual scan done so we can see uh, if you know there's somebody and a neighbor in there it is one of the scariest things but i'm so glad that i found out very early i can't imagine how i would have had to adjust in my mind in my brain had i found out that i was pregnant with multiples later on say six months even to begin with just pregnant finding out you're pregnant at six months and then you're finding out it's twins i don't think i would have coped too well with that so one of the best ways to tell is to absolutely go see a doctor go get your test done go get your ultrasound done it's about three to four out of a hundred pregnancies that result in multiples and in essence this video the common early signs of a twin pregnancy are essentially pregnancy normal singleton pregnancy signs but just elevated some of them are really really elevated uh, like the morning sickness like the food aversion and and the fatigue you will just feel it another one i'd like to add is 
instinct. Um, I've heard of women who, you know, could just tell, could feel that something was not quite normal. So yes, I know I'm pregnant or whatever the case may be, but uh, there's a little bit more to the story than what meets the eye. So go get tested and be careful, boys. What do they say? Books before babies because books before boys because boys bring babies <laughs> be careful who you tangle with you might end up with a beautiful bundle or bundles of joy that's all the time that i have for uh, today thank you so much for watching this video comment down below with what more twin mom content that you would love to see on this channel and i will be sure to work it into this hectic schedule of mine i truly do enjoy uh you know being this uh content producer and the talent and the tech and the sound guy with the mic and the lighting and the everything and own makeup and wardrobe let me know because i truly do enjoy uh making uh content on this platform there will be links down below to other ch uh, other channels no stay here first <laughs> to other videos that you can watch and enjoy let me know in the comments below what you would like to see please follow me on the socials i am new to tiktok hey basadi why didn't you guys tell me that it goes down on tiktok it is what an interesting space but I would like to grow there as well. Let's follow each other at Fifi underscore CM uh, on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. I will link all of those down below. Catch you on the airwaves. I'll catch you next time on another video. Have yourself a beautiful week. Bye.